Hey Libra, welcome to your 2022 forecast. Hooray! We're here to Libra. I gotta tell you, I love me some Libra, okay? Maybe it's your balanced energy, but y'all have some good lives, all right? So, for those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive. I channel the messages. I am using the cards as tools, okay? And so some of what you see on the channel will not be traditional. Just take what resonates, leave the rest. If the roles seem reversed, reverse them. If it's something where you're in a third party and it feels like I'm telling their story, I probably am as well. Time is fluid, so whenever you come up to this message, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. Okay, and for my returning Libras, thank you so much. I love you so much. You guys are some of my uh, top views and make sure that you remember, okay, because going forward um, next month when I do the longer videos, the videos with the most loving contributions, like shares, comments, subscriptions, those will be the video signs that get the very first reading. I will not be doing the longer videos in order anymore. They will be based on who is contributing the most to the channel. Okay, now the reason that I am doing two weeks for the longer videos is because I am number one um, doing my 500 plus trauma related yoga certification. And so that's taking a lot of time out of my day. Also, um, just for time for clients, because that is where the money comes. I've got a child I'm teaching to drive, right? I gotta buy her a used car so she doesn't kill my car. <laughs> She'll be going to college like in a year. Like there's all these things happening, okay? And so um, I make like 34 cents a month off YouTube. So <laughs> there you go. So every little bit of contribution that you give to the channel to help it grow is really something that I cherish, all right? You can find out about the work I do with clients below. You can leave a donation below. You can learn about some of the decks that I've created below. You can find my books that I've written, a bunch of them down below, okay? So a lot of things down there. For the collective, okay? <laughs> it's not a surprise that I'm reading this on the 111 portal, is it? Because what you have manifested, right? What you are manifesting, you, it's gonna come back, okay? So really loving that mindfulness. And I feel like it's really about harmony, balance, integration shedding your skin, leaving behind the past. Okay, so today we are going to look at the quarters. We are going to look at the month. We're gonna get some clarification. Okay, get some advice from Spirit. Thank you. Okay, quarter two. Ooh, thank you. Quarter three. Thank you. Quarter four. Thank you. Okay, you know what, Libra? There is a lot of nakedness on <laughs> your reading already. <laughs> you guys might be having a lot of naked time in this year, okay? Underneath it all, there you are. The empress, the goddess, right? Sparkling, beautiful energy, okay? The year of the goddess, right? Maybe that is what we are going to title the video. The year of the goddess. Okay, and it doesn't matter whether you are feminine or masculine, right? Like it's just coming into power, like sovereign power from the space of the heart. Okay, so January, thank you. February, thank you. March, oh, thank you. Interesting, we got a card that snuck in there. Okay, we're gonna stick that right there. Ooh, and Spirit's just confirming that that was meant to be. Okay, April. Thank you. Okay, May. Thank you. June. Thank you. J 
Mr. Light. Thank you. August. Thank you. September. Thank you. October. Thank you. October, by the way, massive planetary alignment for Libra. So it's going to be a big birthday month for those October Librans. Okay, November. Thank you. And oops, December. Thank you. Okay, underneath it all, <laughs> the year of the two, mental conflict. Okay, do I grow organically or do I grow following like the destined path, like following what people have told me to do, right? Or do I just follow my heart? Do I follow my mind, right? I feel like that's going to be your year, right? That balance, okay? So quarter one, all right? Your guardians are like, here you go. Here is your trophy, Libra, okay? Here's your trophy. You have really been the star and we're going to return that star power to you. I feel like um, you're feeling, you're going to feel some immense root chakra energies. Really, even though it's very angelic, I feel like you're going to be very grounded, okay? In your power, in your heart, right? In your passions and your creativity as you go through quarter one, okay? Quarter two, all right, emergence of the physical body. Maybe you're taking on some sort of diet program or exercise program in quarter one, and whew, things get hot and steamy in quarter two. Okay, all of a sudden, you're feeling great in your skin, okay? Um, feeling connected to your body, like listening to your body, really vibing with your body, okay? Quarter three, um, your body starts listening to the stars, okay? Your body starts listening to the celestial wishes, I feel like, to the magic, right? The vibrations, the frequency that are going to change your body. I almost feel like, I feel, ooh, and that just really aligns. Okay, I feel like you are really moving into an alignment with your, like, it's like a reset, your original light body. And so if you have not done <laughs> the Chi Draconis, okay, a Chi Ball activation that is in the community tab that I gave you instructions on how to accept the codes. All right, if you've not done that, like seriously go do that because I really felt like my whole light body like lighting up, right? Quarter four, spiritual growth, okay? And the healing of the inner child, right? All of a sudden you get to speak your truth. You get to see your truth. It's like your shield gets re like invigorated, like everything, like there is it, right? All the alignment, right? The goddess and the inner child, like symbiosis. I love it. So let's go ahead and clarify, okay? So quarter one, your guardians. <laughs> Guardians. Yeah, the star again, right? You're standing on the star, and this is the star, okay? I really feel that your spirit guides have been watching you process through the last year and all the work that you've done. Like they're, they're almost showing like the energy. They're showing me like a shadow of this little bird, like right here between the wings. And they've been re getting messages relayed. Okay, Libra did this, Libra did that, right? And they're like, we're going to bless you. Okay, just stand there 
and open and accept. Okay, look at that. Open wings, open arms, open soul. Okay, accept what is meant for you. Very beautiful energy. Okay, now in January, you are really trying to come into balance. I feel like you have pulled yourself out of your emotions and you're just looking at them, right? It's like, I'm just mindfully looking at my emotions, looking at what led me to where I am at. In February, okay, I feel like that's when you are going to accept all of this that's coming to you, okay? Um, this is kind of like a three of wands sort of an energy, but it's recognition and reward. And gosh, like, oh, that vagus nerve is just lighting up in me as I'm reading this. Okay, again, right? Look at the symbiosis there. Okay, in February, you are going to get this recognition, these rewards for all of the hard work that you have put into yourself. Spirit is like, we're giving you back that energy, right? Like, especially I feel like one, 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 right? Mas manifestation, manifestation, manifestation. And then it's almost like two, 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 boom, right? Uh, <laughs> really powerful. Okay, now March, right? Now you can go forward triumphantly. And I love that these were together because it's a seven and a three, a completion of a cycle, right? The arrow, it's like the ace of wands, sort of an energy almost, okay? But again, from the three of wands energetically, almost like to the three of wands physically, like where you are completing this cycle and you are moving yourself forward. Okay, so let's clarify here. Okay. All right, January, you're emotionally withdrawing, right? Taking a look at things. Yeah, again, the hermit. I feel like this could be very much about the work of finally finishing the healing of your inner child. Okay, it's like you're starting it here in quarter one. Um, and it's really interesting because she's sitting here like right in this spiritual light, but her hermit's light is sitting down on this rock. Like she is emanating the light from within. So it could be that you are starting the work of integrating your inner child back into your being. And like by the time you get to this fourth quarter, like your inner child will be like super powered. Okay, February. Okay, six of swords with the nine of pentacles. All right, you're getting everything. But again, I feel like it's coming in perhaps in February. All of that downloads are very energetic and messages and synchronicities. Okay, spirit saying, just go with the flow right? Just follow the energy where it's leading you because it's leading you to something that's going to offer you a lot of bounty. <laughs> There's that thing again. I don't know. And that phone, the notifications are turned off. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. <laughs> so March triumph. Page of cups. Okay. Again, this is whatever has been sitting here, whatever is sitting here in February in your energy field. It's coming in. Okay, it could be love. It could be a job, right? But it's, you're, you're aligned to that path that you are meant to be on, right? This is the arrow, okay? Shining the direction for you. And as such, right? The things that you've wished for 
are now coming into your field. I love that. Okay, so quarter two, right? Emergence of the physical body. Who doesn't want their physical body emerging? <sighs> Four of Wands, 11, 11, okay, union. It's about time, Libra, okay? Beautiful energy for the second quarter. In April, we've got the memories of love, okay? The six here could be reminiscent of, okay, the six of wands, really looking and somebody seeing, okay, this sort of light that was always there, uh, recognizing it in someone else. And um, even somebody feeling nostalgic and wanting to come into a return. Okay, April, May now, um, I feel like this could be the end, what Spirit's saying could be the end of April into May. You could feel completely disconnected from this person. Okay, you're off doing your thing, you're in your castle, you're doing great. This person is aligning their chakras, okay, wherever they live, wherever they're at, they're discontent, they're bored. Okay, this could be you. To me, it feels like them. Um, you would know best. But I feel like, right, they're six in the four. This is how it comes into completion. Okay, they're really figuring their stuff out. And June here, right? Sacral chakra. So, again, I feel like that really has to do with this inner child, okay, because it's coming down from that triumph. You're feeling just good, like awake, okay, which is beautiful. So April, memories of love, okay, four of cups. It could be that while you're waiting for this coming into union, right? Like you're doing the same thing, okay? There could be this sort of reminiscent. They're showing me, okay, there's a card in here. Now they're gonna make me go look for it. Give me one second, see if I can see it really fast. If I see it really fast, I will show you. So now they want it. And they want it because I'm not hearing it. Maybe it's not in this deck. Maybe it's in a different deck. Ah, that's what they're telling me. It actually, it is a different deck. Okay, what card is it? Let me tune in for a minute, guys. I feel like it's the moon. I could be wrong, but they're showing me the tree. Okay, in the card that I'm thinking of, there are, okay, two, the tree has two shadows coming out of it. And um, it's like both shadows, right? There's paths to this tree. And I do feel like, right, that tree is where things start to grow, right? But what do you do with your three cups while you're in that shadow work, okay? Well, you start planting things, okay, so that you can get into that. In May, the disconnection and boredom, right? Okay, nine of cups in reverse. This person is like, I have not gotten my rewards. I have not gotten my riches. I have not gotten my heart's desires. Um, they're going through a rebirth. Okay. And I feel it at the back, that 
soul chakra, heart chakra energy, right? Um, they're like, I haven't gotten what's meant for me. Okay. And I love the fact that they're standing right at the sacral chakra. Okay. Starting to work on that and um, turning away from their ego, okay, to pull into from the Empress to the Emperor's energy, okay? So whether you are masculine or feminine, there is an Emperor and an Empress energy in here. In June, the Sacral Chakra, again, okay, there it is. That's the Four of Wands, the celebration. Okay, the work on the Sacral, is what opens up that 1111, opens up that um, celebration, that coming into this deep connection, okay? My heart to your heart. I love it. Okay, quarter three. Now you're listening, okay? I'm listening to see what else, what else is spirit going to bring, right? What else do I need to know? Okay, because you're not quite ready to, you know, passionately, apparently you've had a lot of passion. You know what it is that you want to take this leap of faith towards. Okay, but they're, they're showing me here with the six of wands. It's almost like, okay, because we've got the two, the four, the six, the seven. Okay, they're like, I've taken a risk before, two of wands. Okay, I may have even taken the risk of the full four of wands, but it really, you know, six of wands, I don't feel like I was triumphant, like I was the star of the show, like I was being seen for my worth. And I'm very passionate about this, but I've got all these little mind games playing in my head. And so I'm just kind of stopped and I'm listening, right? And they're really showing me, okay, there's the two, there's another two, there's another two, okay? There's three twos that I can see written on this card. Okay. And again, this is the year of two, 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 right? The year of the lovers. And, um... Right, you're standing on this very sacred space. Okay, this feather might be asking you to clear out the old, old energy, smudge yourself really well, right? To be open to receive what is meant for you, okay? Because Ace of Cups here at the bottom, I do feel for some of you, this is a second chance at really having what you've desired out of life. But of course, right, we are very complex beings here. Um, so July, again, carry over from the sacral chakra to from June to July. There's the inner child fear of abandonment, fear of being heartbroken, right? Heartbreak and loss. And there's a not talking about this fear that could really be bringing things kind of stagnant through July or maybe you can't you can't talk to this person okay because you are being somewhat pulled apart here in August okay partnership and alliance and wisdom okay there's a lot of work that is going to be done in August to overcome the challenges okay to really feel like move to where you feel happy they're saying happiest September okay that star energy comes back in okay I almost feel like it comes in with your season okay it comes back in that star energy lighting you up shifting your being your light being around um, you could feel a lot of cold energy 
Um, the cold to me is like a histamine release. It's like cellular like changes. Okay, um, removing old ancestral issues. Okay, so July. All right, heartache and loss. Okay, Ace of Wands. Like for some reason you're sad about the knowledge that you've created this new life. Okay. That's why there's the hesitation to leap forward, right? I'm a little bit sad to leap forward. I'm a little bit afraid to leap forward, but third eye knows. Okay. August, partnership, alliance, wisdom. Okay, I feel like one person here really wants to move things forward with the Knight of Swords and the Tower. Okay, that's going to cause, right, the old energy is going to have to be burnt down in order for these new seeds to be planted. September, the disruption. Okay, right? It's going to make you stop and really call in like all your spiritual tools and again i feel like it's your light body is being activated we've got the full moon like the full lunar cycle i actually think that um there might even be a full moon in libra during your season okay right queen of cups just be open to accept this light energy. It is going to nourish you. It's going to be healing for you. It's going to be exactly right. Happiness, exactly what you need, right? It ends a massive transformation of your being. And you can see like as the light hits this person, like their whole chakra system is aligned. And I really did see that when you do the Chi Draconis codes, okay, it will take through the, um, the, like, there's like, um, some sort of meteor shower or something in October. Now it's like gone from my head that has to do with, um, Draconis, okay, that really brings it kind of full circle. It's like a birthing process here. Okay, so fourth quarter, spiritual growth, inner child, strong. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Okay, four of pentacles. It's almost the way this is coming through today. It's almost like all of a sudden everything is coming at you and it's almost like you don't have enough hands to carry it all right you're like oh my gosh so much abundance right i don't really know what i'm doing here okay and that could bring you into old shadows okay but spirit saying tap back into that new light okay temptation it's almost like it's a not necessarily a trick but like a test, like testing your new being, like spirit, spiritual test to see that you're tapped into the light, right? Because underneath it here, we've got the fall, but it's the heads in the game, but there's really no move forward yet. Okay, in November, we've got the accelerated motion of your wishes, okay? And, um... Again, I feel like it's from all of this hard work that you've done for the wishes to really come to you in November. It takes a little bit of a minute, okay? But it's exactly where you're meant to be. They're like 444, four, four. you're on the right spiritual path, okay? And in December, okay, you're ready to move into this new this whole new energy field, this whole new reality for yourself. Like, goodbye, 2022. I'm like into 2023 and beyond. Okay, beautiful energy. 
Okay, October, a little temptation. Okay, yeah, five of cups. It's a test to see if you can dump, dump stuff back, right? Cleanse yourself with the light field and hold on to this new energy. November. Okay, again, right? You manifested a new paradigm, turning the page on your life. You're starting to make that process forward. December, divine timing. Okay, you've tried and tried again. It's been slow cycles ending. This is a big cycle ending. Look, moving forward, the lovers, 10 of cups. Okay, I feel like you're moving into a amazing 2023. Like this, that's really why I feel like this card came out, right? Like this is a year of integration. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so let's see what else Spirit wants you to work on during this year. Write it down. Okay, the universe has received your order. Know, right? Know that and feel that it's yours. Everything that you've asked for, remember we started off with those stars. Everything that you've asked for up to this part, right? Up to this 1111 portal. Universe has already gotten it all. Okay, it's already done. It's yours. Start writing down action steps that now you want to take right as if like if it is already yours right so let's say you're like i'm manifesting a new car okay well spirit says okay well now start looking for that new car okay so that we can deliver it to you okay yeah sometimes realize that your view is distorted by those old wounds right? You're working towards it, but um, it's important to really realize with that major sacral energy, okay? Don't self-sabotage yourself from this. This is meant for you. Believe that, right? It's already yours. Believe it. Don't self-sabotage it. Allow yourself to Enjoy the process. Enjoy the year. Okay. Know that what we're heading to here in December is for your highest outcome. And it's a very beautiful energy. Thank you. Again, really working towards being in the moment of now. The power of now is where what you visualize is visualized as yours right now. I already have it. Okay. Because I feel like I heard somebody say, right, like, it's like 2022 with the 222 has like the power of the magic wand, right? The ace of wands all year in 2022, sort of an energy. And all of your thoughts will be manifested, which means that you have to keep your thoughts up here because you're very, very powerful this year. Okay, Libra. So let's go ahead. All right. Let's see what the universe wants to add. Okay, Ace of Cups. All right. Love yourself and the universe will keep filling your cup. Okay, for the celebration. Just keep loving yourself, believing that the cup will never run dry. Okay, the tower in reverse. Yes, okay, there's a tower here. But in this tower, in the upright, it's like Rapunzel. It's like someone, right, that's, um, it's almost like refusing. Like, let's say that the prince came to get Rapunzel and Rapunzel completely refuses to go. Like, nope, I'd rather stay in my, my little safe bubble and um, 
I'm, I'm not going after what I've manifested. In the reverse, I feel like, right, the Rapunzel is taking this magical energy and just flying on out of there, right? Energetic body, and off I go, okay? Into my next phase here, the lovers. Okay, again, coming in with the devil energy. So in October, maybe the devil energy for some of you is not yours. And you're dealing with someone that has addictions, okay, that has trauma. And rather than letting them trigger you, right, you just kind of hold space for them. Or maybe they hold space for you. Either way. Okay, but it's definitely a beautiful energy. Thank you. Okay, yeah, there's the emperor. Okay, the emperor and the empress. This emperor I love. Coming in strong, okay, solid. Got that beautiful, okay, sort of crown that just pings the third eye and um, really embracing their strength and their sun, but not in a sort of nasty sort of way, right? In a very beautiful sort of an energy. And I love that. So let's go ahead and close it off with an oracle. Okay, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, the beauty way, right? You are on the path to illumination, I feel like to the four, to the four of wands, okay? To the four of pentacles where everything is overflowing. Um, we've got the four of cups here, right? Where you, it's kind of like use your manifestation to fill those other three cups while you're waiting for that fourth cup to come in. It's a very beautiful energy here, as well as the awareness to know when it's time to dance, when it's time to fly, when it's time to relax, right? The Jaguar is on the beauty way and know that your path forward when you are in the awareness and open heart, okay? There's nothing to fear, even in your shadows, which is beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? So I hope that this helps you. I hope you guys have a very beautiful rest of the week. Next week I'm doing those general love reads and I'll do all the signs the whole week, okay? So I will see you then, okay? Much love, bye.